guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So recently I had to go to the dentist. Mostly because I hadn't been in two years and my teeth were starting to get a little sensitive and I was like, mm, I might have cavities. Fun fact, I didn't though. But while I was there, they were like, well, it's been two years. We haven't done any x-rays of your teeth recently. So I'm sitting there going like, oh, great. This is where they tell me, we need you to remove your piercings so that we can get an image. Imagine my surprise when I was not asked to remove my piercings. So because I was going in to get my teeth done, I kind of knew that they'd be working in my mouth a little bit. So I did change out my Filtrum or Medusa piercing to a retainer, but I didn't mess with like my nose piercings at all. And I definitely didn't mess with my ear ones. So when they said we need to get x-rays of your teeth. I was like, oh crap, I don't know if my nose will interfere with my mouth. And it did, but apparently it was fine enough that they could still read everything. So I got a lot of questions on Instagram because I posted a picture of my x-ray because it was just so funny looking. And I will insert that over here. As you can see, this is like the front part of my face because you can clearly see my two nostril piercings as well as the perfect circle, which is my septum piercing. But as you can also see, it doesn't really interfere with my teeth at all. Like the imagery of my teeth, you can kind of see where the septum does come down a little bit so that it covers up, I don't know, like the roots of my teeth, but they were able to read it and said that it looked fine. But I did get a lot of questions on Instagram after I posted that picture to my stories saying like, they didn't require you to remove your piercings at all? Which was also a shock to me, like I mentioned. So I kind of wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the reasoning why sometimes they require us to remove our body jewelry and other times they don't. So I've got some pretty cool information. I thought this was kind of timely cause you know, Halloween spooky stuff, you know, skeletons and makeup like that. Not really a Halloween video, but it's kind of cool nonetheless. So. That's what we're gonna talk about today. The title of this video, just for shortness sake, is like gonna be like piercings and x-rays, but it's also going to include things like TSA screenings. Sometimes you have to remove your jewelry there, as well as x-rays, obviously, CT scans, MRIs, and even like surgical procedures. So let's get into what I found. Now again, let me put this out there. I am a piercing enthusiast. I'm not gonna say I'm a medical enthusiast, cause I'm not, but I'm also not a professional there. So anything I say here was just done with research on the internet. You can do your own research. And if you are someone in the medical field who is a professional, you can also chime in. Where the hell are you people ever heard of? Okay, sorry. You can chime in in the comments below. And if you are also a Pearson professional, you can chime in in the comments below. So I am gonna start with TSA screenings just because that's probably the easiest one to dive into. So a question I get asked often, and I would imagine a lot of heavily pierced people get asked it too, is do you have to remove your Pearsons before going through TSA? Do you set off all the metal detectors when you go through TSA? How do you deal with airport security? Easily just like the rest of non-pierced people. Will you have to remove your jewelry to go through TSA? Most likely not. More often than not, metal detectors will not go off because of your jewelry. If it does, however, if it's like jewelry that's visible, you can be like, oh, I have all this metal in my ears, got some metal in my face. TSA agents will be able to see that, we will just kind of wand you and then send you on your merry way. Metal jewelry has the possibility of setting off metal detectors, just how it is. There used to be a time where you'd have to remove all jewelry. So like your rings. I remember being little and like having a really cute necklace or something like that. My grandma was like, oh my God, you're gonna have to remove that. You're gonna set off the metal detectors. And so I always did, but it wasn't until like five years ago where I was like, I don't actually have to remove my jewelry. Interesting. So if your jewelry is something that is visible, usually a pat down or a wand in, is all that's needed. And the chance that your piercings are not visible. So like if you've got your nipples pierced, you're not just gonna lift your shirt up and show it to the world. They may have to take you into a back room where they can actually pat you down, wand you, be like, ah, yes, you do have some jewelry there. That's about as extreme as it gets for TSA screenings. If you do set it off, they'll wand you, pat you down, send you on your merry way if it's visible. If it's not visible, they may take you into a back room just to kind of confirm that what you say is there is there. So moving on now, let's get into the actual title of this video when it comes to x-rays and medical procedures and that fun stuff. X-rays. Many are surprised, including myself, when they find out they may not necessarily have to remove their jewelry. This is because the jewelry may not actually interfere with the images created from x-rays. And the chance that the jewelry does interfere 
with the imagery. It'll show up something like what happened in my photo where the objects were solid white. There's also the possibility that the objects can show up as solid black or even as opaque. If you look in that photo, you will notice that my filtrum piercing didn't show up at all. It's because I had a glass retainer in there. It wasn't anywhere in there. Like there was no picture of it anywhere. It was right there, right there with this. I mean, it's all together. It didn't show up. But the other ones did just because they were still metal. They were still in there. Although x-rays can be conducted with your jewelry in, sometimes the jewelry can obstruct the images created from the x-rays, making it a little bit difficult for those you know, professionals to read it. What this is, is an artifact. It is basically an object in the image that is not originally there. We're not born with a septum ring, are we? No, it's something that we put in there. So when they're trying to get a picture of that area of the body and this solid white object shows up on the x-ray, that's called an artifact. It's not originally there. If you know you are getting an x-ray before you go somewhere, it is in your best interest to swap that jewelry out to a retainer. Retainers serve as a great placeholder to make sure that no piercing closes up because you don't want to get there. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, we need you to remove your jewelry. You're like, I can't do that. It could close up. And they're like, we can't proceed then with the x-ray. You'll have to come back another time when you can remove the jewelry. No one wants to deal with that. So if you know you're getting an x-ray ahead of time, do everything in your power to remove the jewelry, put retainers in, and then you won't have any issues. Luckily for me, because they were just doing my teeth, this didn't really interfere with anything. If it had been anything in my nose, definitely could have interfered. So moving on now to CT scans and MRIs. Now, I was an English major in college. I don't know jack about medical procedures or instruments of those kinds. I had to look up the difference between the two at 30 years old. Yep, sure did. So if you yourself are confused as what to CT scans and MRIs, MRIs are. Both CT scans and MRIs take pictures of internal stuff within the body. The difference between the two, CT scans are much faster than MRIs and they are typically used for like a general understanding of an area. Not going like deep dive in there, but they do get like internal parts of the body, but it's like an overall general understanding of what's going on. Whereas with an MRI, they are far more detailed in what they pick up and they really get a good look at things internally such as like soft tissue and ligaments. Now the big difference between CT scans and MRIs. CT scans produce images through radiation. Fun times, I know. If metal body jewelry is present, the images can completely be skewed and unreadable. That being said, CT scans are very similar to x-rays in the sense that you may not actually have to remove your jewelry. Sometimes the metal just may kind of like obscure the image and what the professionals need to see. MRIs, on the other hand, this is where they become a little bit tricky. MRIs cause the most concern because of their use of magnets. See where I'm going with this? You have metal in your ears or in your face or anywhere else. You're about to dive right into a big old magnet. So you might think that the worst part of an MRI if you've got metal anywhere on you and you go into this gigantic magnet, you might think that the, the biggest cause of concern is that the magnet is gonna rip your metal right out of whatever Pearson site it's in. That's actually not the main reason why MRIs are a cause of concern for body jewelry. The main reason is called thermal heating. This is because the MRI can potentially heat up metal jewelry and cause burns. Now, there is also a chance that the magnet can cause the jewelry to, you know, pull to the surface or even rip entirely out. But the main cause of concern for body jewelry and MRIs is the thermal heating. Nobody wants to deal with a burn. Those are not fun, especially if it's like an internal burn, because like it's gonna get inside your piercing site. Ugh, ugh. Like x-rays, CT scans, you may not have to remove your jewelry. MRIs, it kind of depends. And we'll, we'll get to the reason and for that in a minute. But first, let's look at things like medical procedures. So like surgeries. Will you need to take piercings out for a surgery? The short answer is yes, you will. But much like any of these other procedures, you can swap out your jewelry for retainers. Glass is definitely the best option. However, you can use bioplast. It also depends on the surgery. Like if it's a simple surgery that you're still awake for, you may just have to remove the jewelry that's at the site of the surgery. However, it's something that you're going under for and they're like going to be using all sorts of equipment on you. That's probably when you're going to need to remove all jewelry except for retainers. So much like with the MRIs, leaving metal jewelry in can cause burns. This is made possible through electric currents going through the body. And those electric currents seek out metal and they go 
and then they cause burns. Jewelry can also cause poor circulation. Have you ever had a surgery and you notice that you're like a little bit more swollen than you typically would be? If you've got jewelry in and like post is too short, the circulation can be cut off because the swelling is like pushing against the jewelry or the jewelry is pushing against the swelling and circulation gets cut off. You're not getting enough blood flow. So the best thing when it comes to surgeries and body jewelry is to keep in mind what kind of surgery you're actually having. If the jewelry is where the surgery will be taking place, you will need to remove the jewelry. It could be a hindrance. So there may be a case where you can't have jewelry in it at all. You kind of just have to hope that it won't close up. And if it does, you are just gonna have to resign yourself to the fact that you may need to get it repierced. For example, when I had weight loss surgery, it's gonna be a little graphic here guys, but they pulled the part of the stomach that they were removing out through my navel. Literally, I have a scar like right in the navel where they pulled the stomach out through. They really did that. If I had had a belly button piercing, that belly button piercing, whether it was a retainer or not, would have been in the way. It would have been pulling that stomach out and the little jewelry sitting over there going like, what are you doing? Stop that. You may have to remove your jewelry, no ifs, ands, or buts. It depends on where the surgery is taking place. Oral piercings can also cause a hindrance even if you're not getting anything worked on in your mouth. But if you are going under, if you are getting anesthesia, oral piercings can cause a hindrance, especially like a tongue piercing, because it's hard for them to enter the airways if there's this you know, piece of jewelry floating around in there and they gotta pull it to the side and everything. And there's a possibility that the tongue ring will loosen up and it will go down your throat and you'll choke while under anesthesia. You don't wanna eat your jewelry no matter what, whether you're awake or whether you're under, you may have to say bye to your oral jewelry, depending. So. With all of this information, there are a lot of things that you should keep in mind. The first and probably the biggest surprise that I found during all this research is that titanium is non-magnetic, which made me really excited because all of my jewelry is titanium. So I could technically go into an MRI with all my jewelry and not have a problem because it's titanium and it's not magnetic. Now, would I risk it? Probably not. I'd still probably put in retainers depending on the area that I'm getting looked at, but it was still a cool find. Again, retainers are gonna be your best option for everything, especially glass retainers. Those are the better kind. If you're afraid of anything closing up, slide a glass retainer in there. You can also use bioplast retainers. I just personally prefer glass, they feel better, but you can also use bioplast. Basically what you'll need to do is replace metal jewelry with non-metal jewelry. This is something that I'm sure most of us know but the higher the quality jewelry, better you are. Lower quality jewelry has actually been linked to more injuries regarding like burns and such because they don't have those better quality metals in there. Higher quality jewelry is always the better option. So when it comes to any kind of scan or x-ray or whatever you're having done, you have to think about the area that's getting imaged. If you are getting an MRI of your knee, but you have a whole bunch of facial and ear piercings. You're most likely not gonna have to remove your jewelry because it's centralized on your knee, very opposite ends of the body. However, on the same vein, if you're getting something like your lungs looked at and you have nipple piercings, I mean, your lungs are like legit right, right in there. So you're most likely gonna have to remove that type of jewelry. So always keep that in mind. If you know you're getting a scan of any kind, keep in mind where it is and if there are any piercings nearby. This is a good thing to know and to kind of put your minds at ease. X-rays and CT scans will not physically harm you if you have jewelry in. Jewelry could obscure the image, which is a pain in the butt, but they will not physically harm you if you keep your jewelry in. MRIs, on the other hand, have the possibility of harming you. Again, I'm pushing this narrative. I am not a professional for either medical or Pearsons. I'm an enthusiast for Pearsons, not, not medical stuff. As such, if you know or you think that you need to have a scan of any kind done, you're gonna have surgery, talk with your hospital, the doctors, the radiologists, the technicians, talk with someone at that hospital. First of all, about their policies regarding body jewelry and like getting scans and stuff done and talk with them about how you can't leave anything out of the Pearson site, but can you do these alternatives instead? Talk with the professionals. Policies do vary from hospital to hospital. You know, what one hospital says is fine may not be at another one. Talk with those professionals. And one really important reason, like if you ask before you go, if you're gonna need to take these Pearsons out, that'll give you time to potentially seek assistance with those Pearsons. So for like me, my day stuff is one that I just do not want to touch on my own. I would go to my piercer 
to help me with that. So if I know ahead of time that I'm gonna need an MRI of my head, I'm gonna go to my piercer and be like, yo, can you put something in this instead? Cause I can't do it myself. Could you put this retainer in? At least if you ask before you go, you have time to make plans on how to make sure that you keep your piercing. So wasn't that a fun ride? Again, not a professional, just someone who is, you know, pretty interested in the topic, especially after getting so many questions about the x-ray. I mean, it's a fun x-ray picture to look at, to be honest. So I got really interested in it. It's spooky season. Let's look at some organs and stuff like that. Look at a skeleton, look at some teeth, you know, cool stuff. But those of us who are piercing enthusiasts, you know, we don't want to potentially lose a piercing because we have to get a five second scan. So basically, if you know you're going to have a scan or an x-ray or surgery of any kind, reach out to your hospital and find out their policies and what you may be able to do to prevent losing your piercing or causing yourself harm. Again, if you are a medical professional of any kind or a piercing professional of any kind, drop some like comments below regarding, cause like, again, all of this came from research on the internet cause I don't know anything about the medical side of things. I know body jewelry. I don't really know medical stuff. So when I say I was surprised, I didn't have to take any of my piercings out for the x-ray cause I didn't know. But if you are any of those professionals, just leave some comments below, you know, explaining. If I, if I didn't explain it fully, I kind of did like a very basic understanding of these things. So if you've got more detail, then below. Uh, uh, uh put our minds at ease so that we can keep our piercings. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be, because I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload, and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload, because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys! I think they're gonna make me remove my piercings for a scan. Yeah, I thought so too.